Comes out through the aid of uh, Leon Rice, who shepherded well for him. Towards the half forward line it goes. Collingwood players galore. Georgie Bishop, the hero of the Collingwood fans, streams downfield. Kick goes towards full forward. Over the back, McKenna. McKenna's mark. Peter McKenna from 35 metres out directly in front. Collingwood's lead is five points at the 17 and a half minute mark of this final quarter. McKenna has three, and a goal, a goal here would be invaluable. Would be vital, Peter. Vital is the word. Let's watch it. Drop punt by McKenna. The goal umpire doesn't move much. It's there. Fourth goal to Peter McKenna. After losing to Carlton in the second semi-final, the Magpies dropped McKenna and Price for the preliminary final against Richmond and included a 16-year-old, Rene Kink, for his first game. We played Carlton. Successful because that's all a coach could ask. It's from the knock, a big knock by Roberts, but he infringed against Brian Jack and a little bit unfortunate, I'd say, as I don't feel it was intentional, but nevertheless, whether it's intentional or not, the free kick must be awarded. In this case, it goes to Graham Jenkin. Jenkin being a force so far, opening up as the first rucker. Favouring the drop kick. Oh, it's a kick. long kick by Jenkin. Wide over Dean's head, but Bissett backs him up. Bissett takes the ball, a short kick, and it's taken by Kirk. Kink, I should say. Renee Kink, the replacement for Peter McKenna today. He's wide on the forward pocket, close to the boundary, right on the boundary line, as you can see in the screen there. A kick from Kink, offline and only one point results, but the mere fact that Kink would have taken that mark and had a shot at goal would give the young boy a big lift. Force forward to Stewart, Stewart a long one into the forward zone, here's a go for Mike Green, the man in front but got knocks it away. Ball now, taken out of danger, up to the wing position, taken by Dean. Dean of Collingwood kicks it up to the half forward flank on the stand side. The players fly, knocked away, Thompson has the run. Thompson pushes it in front of him, he's in the pocket, into the goal square, it goes for the There's the young kick, Renee Kink. A strong mark taken by Kink. 16 year old lad. Playing his first full game, what a day to come in. You can see the angle he's on, it's an acute one, he kicks and he's put it through! Eight and a half minutes into the second quarter. Well it's good for Collingwood, Mike, that they can answer a Richmond goal as quickly as that. Richmond have to be able to get a couple of quick goals in a row without uh, Collingwood being able to answer it. It was a good goal by Kink then, and I'm sure Dick Clay is not particularly happy at the moment. I don't think the lad is overawed, Bob, by the occasion either. Well, no, I understand before the game when somebody said to young Kink, are you worried? He said, Clay's got the worries, not me. <laughs> Get the knock when it comes back now, where Lamb collides with his own uh, teammate in Kevin Bartlett. And out of it all, we see a Collingwood free kick to Cranich. Cranich with the ball. Cranich drives it to the half-forward line. Green coming across, couldn't hold the mark, it comes back to Bartlett, and Bartlett's knocked out of the way by McGee, it gets forward to Bissett, Bissett goes short, looking for Kink, and Kink accepts the mark. Kink has kicked one earlier in this... ...to Sheedy, Sheedy to Stewart, Stewart now towards the wing position on the member stand side, and a good mark taken there by Doug Gott. Tigers might be getting just a little bit rattled, Bobby. That is the understatement of the year, Mike. I don't think anybody expected this sort of uh, play from Collingwood. They're playing with such certainty. 15-yard penalty. Another one as well, Mike. A 30-yard penalty, and Doug got takes his Guernsey off. Oh, well, anything can happen in football. Gott's kick, it's a beauty, right to the edge of the goal square. They set themselves. Jenkins goes up a mile. Here's a go now for a kink. Kink in a bit of trouble. Hooks it over. This is close. It's very close. It's three. That's his second. Good play by Thompson then, Mike. Thompson made no attempt to go near the ball. Then he shepherded 
and made sure that no Richmond player could get near that one to touch it before it went over the line. Anyway, taken by Francis Burke. Midway through the second quarter, he started to hit his straps. He gets it to the wing position. Mark taken by Thompson. Down for one, but he gets it across to Cranage. Cranage down into the forward zone once again. Atkinson will be paid the mark. Thompson's on the ball, Mike. Thompson taken away from centre half forward. Now on the ball. Wearmouth will take that. Wearmouth, you just couldn't see him kicking the goal from here. He gets a lead, but oh! Wayne Richardson pulled in a one hand up, and umpire Bill Dallas bringing the ball back. Oh, I think everybody thought it was pack up time at half time. But, oh, heck, what a comeback! Wearmouth now. Goes to the edge of the goal square. The players fly to that. Kink. Kink is marked. The kid, the 16-year-old schoolboy from Melbourne High, playing his first full game. He's got two on the board. And this is a dead set pressure goal. 20 metres out, he kicks. And it's through. That's his third. And Collingwood is still there. Well, there's no doubt he's got the right temperament, Mike, to play football. Three goals. And to put that one through in the manner that he did shows that, uh, well, he's also got what it's made of. Back to six points of difference in favour of the Magpies. A lovely kick by Clayton Woods, a member's side of the ground. Stewart up high over the top. Twice again comes out with the pack, out of the pack with the ball. Hooks it back over the shoulder where Bissett's all on his own. It's over the wall, almost over his head. And we see Bissett juggling the mark to take it. Bissett, a great first half. Very quiet in the third term. One stage in the hands of the trainers with the cramp. Dean Bissett. There's Thompson and McGee. Bissett goes short, looking for Kink and finds Kink with a lovely pass. Kink in a similar position to where he kicked one in the second term. He's kicked three. He removed. He played 182 games and kicked 837 goals. He'd topped the pun three times. It was a season of change. The VFL launched its properties division. After a protracted battle, John Petura was cleared to Richmond. In exchange, South Melbourne received the clearances of Brian Roberts, Graham Teasdale and Francis Jackson.